I'm Santosh Koshi, uh, the Professor of Medicine and Chief of Medicine at uh, Regional One Health, University of Tennessee Health Sciences Center at Memphis, uh, Tennessee. Um, I presented the topic, Current Status of Intravascular Imaging in the International Academy of Cardiology Annual Scientific Session in 2015, the 20th World Congress of Heart, on Heart Disease held in Vancouver, Canada. Over the last couple of decades, the use of intravascular imaging has increased steadily when the coronary interventional volume has been plateaued out or has come down. And the reason behind this increased use is the operator or the physician would need much more data than the conventional angiogram would provide in determining the correct way of managing these patients. The most common intravascular imaging that we use in clinical practice are intravascular ultrasound, commonly known as IVAS, or optical, and also optical coherence tomography, which is OCT. They, both of them give a very good delineation of the coronary stenosis, the structure, the percentage stenosis. However, both lack the finer details, including the chemical composition, the, the structure of the tissue, or the morphological appearance of the tissue, and the, and the tissue characterization. In order to circumvent this, or to provide this information, there are new technologies being developed, and some are in cl clinical studies, that can supplement the already available imaging techniques, that's IVAS and OCT, to give the end user every data possible to make a meaningful decision. Those technologies are virtual histology, which is already available in the market. Um, intravascular elastography looks at the strain of the vessel wall and m match it to the plaque characteristics. The nurse imaging or near infrared spectroscopic imaging. The TRFS or the time resolved fluorescent spectroscopic images. Intravascular photoacoustic imaging. And fluorescent lifetime imaging techniques. All of these new modalities give an, something extra on top of what we have right now. If you can combine this technology with the traditional imaging modalities, the end user gets much more data for him to help him to manage his patients more effectively. 